guys welcome back to my channel and uh, it's been quite a while since we have a vlog uh, that's because I have been busy building this boat I have been building this boat since uh, January and as you can see it's still under construction so this is a 14 feet uh, skiff boat here is the plans for the boat guys so this is just first page uh, of course I cannot uh, give you the <laughs> everything about the plan but you can get it at uh, boatbuildcentral.com so I'm here in the Philippines guys and uh, I just have a digital copy of this plan I would say I have around uh, 35 percent completion of this boat so it still needs a lot of fiberglass so we still need uh, fiberglass this uh, parts here and uh, well I started building this last uh, January so it has been quite a long time and up until now I'm not finished with it uh, I did have some health problems uh, last April so I had to uh, recover from my uh, heart, heart disease so I'm still recovering until now but hopefully we will get this boat done this year so here uh, as you can see the transom is already glass almost everything is glass uh, this one I need to install the stripper and then you have the doubler around here uh, my garage is a mess <laughs> so there's still some parts of it uh, for the deck of the boat so I'm very excited to finish this boat but uh, because of health reasons guys I have to take it slow and uh, recover my health first before uh, doing anything else so I was not able to order the kit but if you're a first time boat builder like me I really recommend that you order the kit so that you don't have to draw the pattern and uh, put it on the plywood and after uh, drawing it to scale you have to cut everything guys so it takes some some work uh, for you to do that there's also make sure that you double check the measurements because you could uh, mess up one part of the uh, boat and you'll have to buy uh, additional plywood if you mess up uh, I already messed up the transom once and uh, I would probably advise you to measure it twice before cutting and uh, also be sure to read the builder's notes before you start cutting or building the boat I mean uh, I made the mistake of uh, not really reading the instructions because I was so excited to just do it and for me it ended up uh, wasting a lot of time because uh, there was a even a simpler way to do it so you will need a cutting tool uh, traditional sauce guys it will taste it will take you a lot of time so I suggest a jigsaw so that you can cut all the patterns uh, in the plywood very uh, efficiently and fast the next thing you have to do with all of this uh, boat building is that you have to piece them together so this is a stitch and do uh, boat process so so we are using uh, zip ties to stitch together the uh, cut out parts from the plywood it's very easy guys and uh, I suggest you get the quality zip ties because if you go with the cheaper zip ties uh, it's gonna cause a lot of problems it just keeps uh, breaking up 
when you tighten uh, mostly all the joints here in the uh, boat you also have to put some uh, PVC tubing uh, around uh, 1 inch or 2 inch PVC tubing so that you could uh, tighten the uh, stitches but make sure that it has a gap so don't over tighten it guys uh, I would say around a quarter of an inch is a good gap for all of the uh, joints next thing that be sure that uh, you don't overlap any of the uh, plywood parts next is you have to of course mix the epoxy resin the epoxy resin guys you need to use a uh, composite epoxy resin don't use the table top uh, table counter uh, epoxy resin because it's not gonna be good what I'm trying to say guys is uh, be sure that the epoxy you use is for marine application and once it's fully cured we need to get all of the zip ties and then we just epoxy everything guys and once it's fully cured we again apply epoxy I'm just mixing cabo seal guys with the epoxy resin that's the white stuff that you see here so I'm just uh, applying it to the joints and uh, all of the seams of the boat so the clear epoxy uh, I use it to laminate the plywood uh, we have to make sure that everything is laminated and uh, I guess the next thing for this guys is uh, put some fiberglass uh, I'm using the same epoxy uh, composite so make sure you have a mask and uh, or a respirator is uh, probably a good idea uh, goggles to protect your eyes and also uh, gloves because uh, this kind of epoxy is uh, it doesn't have any odor uh, it's really odorless and that's what's uh, dangerous about it you don't really feel it but the, the epoxy itself is a, is a chemical so you might be sensitive to it I would really suggest you uh, take some precautions when you're doing the uh, epoxy resin. By the way, if uh, here I'm using a brush, so after this uh, application, guys, basically this brush is already done. I'm just gonna throw it in the garbage, so you can just imagine the uh, expense of uh, using a brush with the, with the boat. So you'll have to really schedule everything when you are gonna be uh, applying epoxy resin so that you can maximize all your brushes or rollers if you uh, if you're using rollers and uh, so far that's it well that's it for this update if you are interested in uh, seeing any update for the boat do click like and subscribe I'll see you on the next video um, I will probably be doing some buoyancy foam and uh, there's still a lot of things to be done here and uh, this thing is really not gonna be able to fit at the back of a pickup truck it is just too big for that so uh, the way I see it now it's gonna need a trailer and if you're planning to build a boat that will fit at the back of your truck I suggest you go with a 10 feet or 12 feet size this one's a 14 feet it's not gonna be able to uh, fit on the back of your pickup truck so got my pickup truck right there it's not gonna fit there so it has been raining for quite some time now and uh, it's really good time to fiberglass because of the cold weather I am using a fast cure uh, epoxy resin so the weather really plays a lot especially here in the Philippines uh, if you're interested in the materials that I am using you can check out the description below and for the boat plan you I will also include the link 
So that's it for today guys. I'll see you in the next one.